Hello and welcome everyone again to another video and today's video I'm going through some battles uh, using my Giratina or uh, Origin. I finally get a usable Giratina for the Great League and I am actually excited to share these battles because Giratina is actually one of the stuff that are like cool to have in the meta and for multiple reasons. Uh, it's a dragon that doesn't lose to Azu and it's probably the only dragon that doesn't lose to Azu and Discarmory and Registeel, which is kind of insane, not gonna lie, like it's actually good, okay? The problem is you need a level 15 one, which is from a research that was available like two or three weeks ago, and you have to trade it and get it below 1500 because it goes up like similar to Crest, it's above, uh, it's around 1600 CP. But something also to share, today Niantic uh, released a new, uh, type of boxes it's the ultra box it's a new one for everyone so most people are getting this one okay but i'm sharing it to mold okay most people are getting some people are getting this one okay some people are getting this one so there is no remote here and some people are getting this one here like eight passes with an elite charged tm so um, I am one of those unlucky ones and I get this one where there is no elite TM. Uh, it's a decent price for having an elite TM and uh, elite premium, elite battle passes. Uh, this one is not that good to be honest, but it's the second best one after this. But the one I have, which is this one is currently the worst. The best one is there is a one that is basically uh, eight premium passes, elite charge TM and uh, something else. Uh, so are you one of those lucky ones or are you just like me and you have no luck and you get the worst box among these stuff because not gonna lie right now I need elite TMs because I need to use an a Filali Gator in the Ultra League and I don't have one built so I'm gonna end up using I'm gonna end up using an elite charge TM and now let's go back to the battles and the first one here as you can see okay let me fix okay so it looks like everything is fixed i've recorded this video like two times so far so please if you like the contents make sure to leave a like me to the channel and subscribe and this team is basically uh skarmory double shadow claw users and this matchup here is pretty iffy for this card so i'm just going to swap out and feel alligator here having a shadow claw plus crunch crunch is important in two matchups giratina and feel alligator that's it okay you need ice beam for altaria but i still think that crunch has slightly better play where like sometimes as the if the opponent is going to shield you're better throwing crunch and getting a shadow claw uh, sorry and getting a debuff a uh, chance to debuff opponent brought in the g -fisk, and now feraligator is about to feast on their entire team if this is their answer they don't have an answer look at that Feraligator killed the G-Fisk, about to kill a Jellicent, and they still haven't revealed the third, which is a Victini, so they are triple weak to Feraligator, and Feraligator didn't even have a mercy on them. They were like, okay, next one, okay, next one, okay, next one, okay, you're done. And Feraligator still had 70% HP. That's how OP this Pokemon is. It's too good of a Pokemon right now. Okay, moving into the next game, we are picking an amazing lead is coming into Wigglytuff and okay here okay i need to say something so when i started using this okay before i go live i was planning to use it with a dragon tail just to surprise people whenever i swapped in a giratina they will bring in a dragon because they think i'm shadow claw but before that when i went live someone said can you run shadow claw so i tm'd it off the shadow claw so in my back in my brain i still thought that i have a dragon tail so this is like a, a little bonus story. Why did I? Why did I did? Why did I do what I did? And now uh, this game is GG. There is no way we win. I think this is a very tough game. Uh, oh my, that's that's a tough one. I thought like. They will go for double dragon claw opponent here having a uh, giratina so i'm just going for the uh, good old brave bird here and then swapping out we were able to grab a shield opponent staying in is giving me actually a decent play because now i know that they have a wiggles in the back so all we need to do is to throw two hydro cannons and the two hydro cannons are able to ko so now we just need to do two because the second charm won't register if this ko's which is supposed to and after that all we need is just a hydro i could have shield if i had a shield just to show them how feraligator can sweep teams 
and all we need now is one sky one brave bird okay sky attack is enough but here we going for the brave bird just for you guys who are watching this youtube video okay we're going for the bm and we landed the bm we took the w and moving into the next game into a horrible lead because we bm the last opponent so opponent is trying to get some energy then then they swapped into a dugong every dugong so far has been shielding my shadow balls so i'm at this point like next time i'm just actually going to start beating I'm, i believe opponent here will just double shield for some reason which is kind of painful and they are going for the full fight no they are they are going to throw a charge move here so now the play is i need to go back to scorn soak two charge moves but two charge moves are gonna going to do lots of damage so maybe throw at one point when they are in the brave bird range okay they are in brave bird range okay we fell for it twice once when i played and now uh the brave bird actually is a was helpful for me because that put them in uh hydro kind of range and then they we ended up cmping the scald and now opponent bringing back the dugong i'm going to call a bait here just because i have two shield that doesn't mean i'm going to use my shields my friend okay we ended up calling an amazing bait now a crunch this is where a crunch comes in handy they have a talon flame we still have two shields can you believe from that horrible lead into that horrible swap we flex two shields on the opponent okay uh, i think this is what well, just a stream snipe uh, what's his stream snipe when i go live some people queue uh, with the hard counter team at the same time as i do and then they, if they face me they end up like like this i don't find it funny but my viewers always find it funny because when i lose live live on stream at twitch.tv slash people like it uh so now there is no more play because i don't beat the charger bus so charger bus is just gonna is going to come after and farm me all the way down like like bully me you know like how my feraligator has been bullying yeah feraligator is just uh, sorry a uh, charger bus is just uh, running over my entire team now i'm not going to shield i'm not gonna bother if they want to snipe to get a win okay that's a win for them but i don't care uh we're picking an amazing lead finally and they swapped into alola malola so in this matchup here i think i ended up throwing on the bad timing because i thought for some reason that i am the one who swapped but they are the one who swapped so when i okay here's the tip of the day so back into the scarm scarm into alola malola scarm has two turn fast move they have a three turn fast move if they swap in a three turn fast move my timing is uh, zero three nine if if i am the one who swap in a two turn into a three turn pokemon my count my timing is two five eight so here i threw one eight that's bad because they are the one who swapped so it's supposed to be nine and now since we like were able to chip them i'm just going to no shield the psychic here because it doesn't do that much damage and i'm going to over farm as much as possible and i'm not going to reveal my second move i would still have it hidden in case they want to bring something and for the people who thought that this team is weak to umbreon i'm going to show you how this team destroys umbreon okay here they throw a move i'm going to shield you know why because i have a move uh which mean i have uh, this move is going to do also around 40 percent so now their umbreon is kind is kind of dead and all i need to do is just do some amazing fast move amazing tapping and they brought the ground ball i don't know why i don't i don't know why they haven't top left it and skarmory was able to farm them all the way down then skarmory tapped the umbreon after i didn't even reveal my third if you think this team is weak to umbreon i don't know what to tell you so here i'm just going to swap out to giratina i know giratina here is the hard answer but i don't want to swap in feraligator because people are prepared for the feraligator more and polydot can beat feraligator while giratina uh while polydot can't beat giratina Yes, they will be able to icy win, but I will be able to do neutral damage while their damage is double resisted. Uh, so here I was able to grab a shield, so I'm going to no shield here. And then try to farm as much damage as possible. I think I go for the alligator here. And then I need to catch an EQ at 9. But I ended up swapping one short, because usually I expect people... Uh, to spam it instantly but it wasn't the case so i'm got i we, we tap the sky attack here and i'm not i'm going to no shield here 
And this guy, I don't know, I don't think this guy attack KOs. Okay, they ended up shielding, so it didn't matter. So they have two fast moves. So I'm going to do one, then throw. Now they are, I think, three away. So we're just going to do one, then throw. Because all we care about is just getting rid of this. We don't need to over farm when you have a shield up, remember this. But over farming does help sometimes, and they ended up having a cloth side. So in this game, if you remember, we ended up getting hot countered in the lead. Hot countered on this swap. We had like a Skarmory into Polyrath. Polyrath destroys that because it's a two shield scenario. Then Giratina into a Walrein, but we didn't top left. So sometimes don't top left, stay until the end. Sometimes like this game, your third might, might hot counter their third, and then you have a huge chance to flip the table on them. And now all I need to do, if you guys can see here, so let me let me show you something. So now opponent has a wink on. This is the second tip of the day. Opponent has a wink on, which is catching. So if you look at me, I know I have the move, but I'm not going to tap here because they only win if they catch. So I'm just going to keep farming. And now they brought the third. This move doesn't KO. So we're just going to keep farming. Then... One Hydro should take care of the uh, Claude Zyre. That should be a game. Okay, moving into the next battle, we have Skarmory into Dunsparce. So, in this matchup, Skarmory dominates this because Dunsparce is just horrible. Sorry, I, I'm not... I, like, my intention is not to offend Dunsparce fans, but... Like, the, the problem with Dunsparce is that all of its damage comes from non stab charge moves. Yes, Dunsparce has some good charge moves. Below average and average charge move. Drill run is average, let's say. Average good. Rock slide is below average. Which is just average. But usually those po the Pokemons with these charge moves such as Excadrill are good because they are they do like Excadrill does fine with these charge moves and they, they actually are great on Excadrill because Excadrill has sky high attack. And the, the Excadrill benefit from the fact that the run is stabbed. So you get like, I think it will bought a 20% bonus damage. Uh, which is decent amount. Like imagine doing one fifth extra of the damage. This is where Crunch comes in handy. When I know that the opponent will shield. So I'm just going to Crunch here and fish for a debuff. If we get the debuff, that's amazing. If we don't, we get a shield back, right? Uh, we're going to shield here. And I'm going to over farm by a uh, couple fast moves and then CMP them. Now if they shield, I'm fine with letting this go. But if they don't shield, we don't care. And we're going to throw an uh, a crunch. I think opponent is expecting this to not be an ice beam because I didn't build for an ice beam. So that's why having crunch was nice. Even though we revealed the crunch. Maybe they would like... Or, or the only play was to, to call a bait. And get a Tina here finally clutching a game. Uh, Skarmory into Medi. This is an annoying matchup. They swapped into Empoleon. And in this matchup here, Crunch is actually good to have. It does two more damage, but those I, but those two more damage are enough. I think to do like 50% more health. Yeah, Hydro doesn't kill uh, there, by the way. So Crunch actually was did, did actually enough damage to KO them. So now just going to spam these hydro cannons after the hydro cannon and now look at look at the Ferrari get it, uh, grab the two shields killed the penguin and get Medi to half HP. And the play here is actually going to Giratina because Giratina forced them to throw ice punches because I feel like whatever is in the back should beat Giratina. Uh, not like just the Giratina should beat the ghosts. And that was a Dugong. And Dugong technically beat all the ghosts. Uh, well, technically we were able to chip the Dugong. So now we don't care to shield. Even though a shielding wouldn't be a bad idea. But we don't care. Uh, we're going to... Uh, the play here is farm, farm, farm. And then don't throw anything. Just keep farming. And Brave Bird the Medi. So we have a charge move. Our Brave Bird is debuffed. But should do enough damage to KO them. And yeah, that was a game. Moving into the next one, we're playing Ares, and they are using a Gallade. Here I switched the lead to Ferrari Gator because I wanted to test it out because I didn't like having my my Skarmory in the lead. Uh, because if Skarmory in the lead, Licky is always in the back. I need to beat it out. But like this, no one leads Licky. Everyone has Licky in the back. I have a better chance to beating Licky. 
so uh just in case we are trying two versions of the team just for the people instead like they'd be like what do you do if they have licky in the back well if they have licky in the back you play this order aba shadow claw we we're able to land the crunch here and honestly like at this point all i need is just to chip this and then moving to skarm and skarmory i'm going to farm them all the way down And now they brought in a Cresselia. So we're just going sky straight to sky attack here. I'm going to bluff the Brave Bird every time. And there is no intention from my end to throw a Brave Bird because like we we can comfortably tank two moves. Sorry, one move. And they do have Aurora Beam, which is neutral. They brought back the Galade. Galade is like waving with his leaps. And now it should be go to the Giratina. And they brought back the crest. And I'm going to go straight ominous wound here. And then swap and throw the hydro cannon and take this game. So that was a good one. Uh, there is either one more battle or two more battles. So special thanks to everyone who made it this far. And if you haven't uh, subscribed, I think it's time to subscribe okay opponent swapped in an a9 so i'm just going to farm it all the way down a9 is so annoying it's pretty much the only trauma that is able to get to a charge move into scorn like literally uh, opponent has a turtonator so and turtonator uh i think i should have thrown a brave bird but i get greedy and i'm like let me let me like just throw this Second sky attack. For if I brave if I brave birded here, well never mind. They were like one away, right? And opponent here having a wiggly tough. So our only hope is that they don't shield this. They shield this, but they don't shield it too after. We were able to get to get a debuff. And now we're just going to save two shields for the next game. Oh my. Did I hate wiggles? Okay, moving into the last battle, and here we're picking up an amazing lead. Uh, for alligator into a slash so in this lead all we need to do is just to throw these hydro cannons and we need to make sure that we shield the drill run usually they bait the first one i think i pegged here because they do have a drill run now but i decided to no shield for some reason and now we need to go skarmory and farm them all the way down yeah, I'm not going to shield anything. Uh, this That's not a bad play technically, but it would have been better if I, we were able to throw the charge move. Now our Skarmory is loaded. They brought back the Azu, and I'm going to throw a Brave Bird here. They shielded a second Brave Bird. They have to shield here. Okay. Uh, we need to, to do six then throw, because they are far away. So I have the ominous wound here, and they brought in an annihilate, and I decided to instead to like fully farm this because it's a it's an ominous wound, and they did seven fast move. This is not eight, so this is a night slash. So they were able to get to night slash, no shadow ball, and now I do have a shadow ball, which is enough to take them out, and we take the game. And that was a nice win. So thank you so much, everyone, for watching. This is the end of the video. If you guys like these battles, make sure to leave a like, make sure to channel, make sure to subscribe. And please let me know, are you one of those lucky ones? Did you get a good box or no? Do you have a Giratina Origin or no? Because I am interested to know if you guys have this Pokemon. I would be glad to make more content around it. But if you guys don't have it, there is no point of making content about the Giratina Origin. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video. Peace.